<laughs> Welcome to the Brazilian Ruins episode. <laughs> Staring at Elster's eyeballs. Yeah, so this will cover the, the ruins and we'll finish everything up and turn all our sign quests back in town. You know, I probably could have done the ruins and the forest together, but... Yeah, it's alright. Alright, so... No, we don't go that way. This is the way we want to go. Hey, you know what? I think there's a dragon in here. Let's get started. Oh my, the, the low poly door. So this is our first treaty? No, second treaty. So we already got the mages support. I guess we don't need that litany anymore. Oh my gosh, you guys, I've seen a lot of character creation stuff for Veilguard. It is looking pretty sleek. Won't have to mod the game to get good hairstyles, apparently. Although the, the Kunari have a bit of a five head going on. Okay. And by a bit, I mean a lot. Do you think it's safe to be in here? I thought I heard a wall crumbling off in the distance. I still think though Origins will never be beat. Like it's just so iconic and you know, a product of its time and way ahead of its time. If they do work on it one day, you know, like a remaster would be fine. I just, if they remake it, I know they're going to, someone's going to ruin it. Like same with uh, Fallout 3, like just uh, bump up the textures and the plot, you know, make it, you know, all tab friendly, all that kind of stuff. That's all we want. Just add hairstyles to the game, make the characters look better. Pretty much what mods do anyway, but mods are fickle. You know, they can break easy, they can crash your game, they can cause problems. On it. It, I don't know why, but like Bethesda games seem to handle them really well. Even though like there's crashing, obviously, I just find that I don't have nearly as many problems modding Beth games than everything else. Well, it's probably because their engine was designed for mods, you know. Which is kind of funny, right? As you, wish. you know, designing your engine just to work with uh, player mods. So Frosty Mod Manager works well, but it's not perfect. Oh boy. You had it coming. Time for some fun. Here we go. On your guard. Only one thing to do with spiders. Burn them. It is done. Oh, that's so gross. I love how I say Dark Deep Rose is my favorite. And but there's like a million spiders down there, but I like the deep dungeon feel of Deep Roads, you know. It has sort of like a very Lord of the Rings kind of feel. Think. Like Elven Ruins, you know, deep dungeons. Wait, did we come out of here? No, we didn't. The Ashes quest is going to be fun too. I like that temple. And I actually don't. Have Reaver unlocked? I was thinking about unlocking it. I don't like how I unlock Blood Mage. Like quick load the game. Because you're going to piss everyone off right when you, you know, commit the act. The unspeakable act. All right, let's go downstairs. I'll, I'll get their corpses later. Oh, I just don't want to look at them. Uh-oh. 
right ahead. Oh my god, yep, there it is. Oh, it's a small one though. Morgan's doing well. Holding her own. Oh no, poor Alistair. Oh man, we stepped in all the traps. It's always a good day when you get to fight a dragon. And some ash warrior came down here and got destroyed. And a Templar. Well, it looks like a Templar. What now? On my way. Ooh, shinies. Allow me. I could do that for you. No, you can't. Try this one. When I play my rogue through, I'm gonna like max my cunning so I can get all the stuff. Rogue is technically the highest damage in the game, but mage is, um, has a lot of debilitation and area effect. And in this game, I find there's a lot of trash mobs. Ooh, 19 gold. Uh, bow we're gonna sell, because bows suck in this. Like, you can beat the game with a bow... A bow rogue, but it's not the greatest. Daggers is just so much better in like by a lot, by a huge margin, you know. Uh, constitute actually dex for defense. And we're getting there, level eleven. Disengage, no. Nope. Maybe second win. Cool little talents that I don't know what mod it's from. Ooh, you know what? <laughs> Perfect. That was that's a good time to use that. And they're kind of clustered like that. And you can actually, I think it's this place or it's, um, no, I think it's the Sacred Ashes area is Arcane Warrior that can be unlocked. On it. It's kind of a cool class because it's not very Kameji. It's like very, I don't know if the word unconventional is right, but it's pretty much like a battle mage. You know, because you wear heavy armor. And there's an actual um, arcane warrior weapon in the ashes area, too. Oh, boy. It could be worse, they could be hairy, you know. It would be much, much worse.
Ancient ghost, I guess. I'm gonna hurt everyone with this, but I wanna do it. That was awesome. Thankfully on normal or in easy mode, you can't hurt your party. I think on super hard mode you have to play in tactician mode like you know overhead and uh, pause every three seconds pretty much As you wish. I don't know how much fun that would be really like yeah you can beat the game on hard but unless you really get a good reward at the end it's you know like our achievements really worth that much to you I, I honestly don't really care about them but If there was like a reward like RE2 does, where if you play on survival mode on or hardcore and you beat it within a certain amount of time, you actually get like a, a secret outfit. Which is now you can just buy it, but. You know, why make it harder on yourself when you don't have to, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess we did explore over there. Ugh, that's probably where they came from. And he's probably going to get up when I open this door. No? Okay. I think that's the way through, so let's go back. Oh no, this is the library, isn't it? Fireball time. Okay. I don't think this is the, the Arcane Warrior thing, but it's something else. Because I remember there's some sort of water puzzle later. She's hitting so fast and so hard. Yes. Yes, of course. Mage are debilitators, supporters, and area attacks. Well, they'll never get like completely top damage in a Dragon Age game, but they're nice to play. Right ahead. Oh, they're running through all the traps. Well, hopefully the traps end soon. I think in every game, Rogue will always be the best. Just because of how light armored they are and they have no, you know, spells.
that's over. Oh, mostly. Venture's journal unbound. How are you guys? the smartest. Ooh, this looks uh, a very foreboding door. Oh, wow, an arcane horror. Oh, they're all clumped, cluttered. They have curse and mortality. If you like that. Mage versus mage. Man, dude's like freaking lighting us up. This is what I'm meant for. Area. This should be easy enough. Ancient elven armor. Oh, this is good for Liliana, but I think her mod armor is better. But I remember this armor being really good, yeah, in the base game. On my way. Oh, you suck. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll do it. You will do no such thing. So, what do we need? Uh, willpower? Proof coercion? to health. Okay, blood magic, sacrifice wound. Erno. Okay, crushing prison. I'll get the blood magic stuff after. That'll be on my last stuff. Uh, several levels will be that. Or not last, but next. Prison and curse mortality like to get Fairly soon. As I say that, I'm like level 12. Oh, hey. Home of Arcane Technique. Consumable. There we go. And I think I can buy another one too. That's uh, Bodon's shop. And further down, through water. On it. Lair of the Werewolves. Interesting. Interesting, cool. Everything else. Corpse Skull. I don't know why this mod's letting me have that. It's probably worth some money, maybe. 
Alright, all of you guys, yep. That's right. Ooh, Shadow Wolves. Those are new. They're mad I lit them on fire. You gotta be careful because these guys can overwhelm you. Never die once like that. Ugh. I was like, what in the heck just happened? Yeah, and they like, they like, hit you to the ground and just start tearing you apart. And I'm probably gonna have to. Which room do I have? Oh, we got some room left. Sort of built like a. Just going to new queue. <laughs> yeah, there is a trap. Okay, what's he doing? Terrorize? I don't think so. Oh, see, there it is. And there's nothing you can do about it. You gotta get healed through it, but... Right. On it. On it. To be fair, I, w I shouldn't have been in melee range. That's on me. Oh wait, did they already, yeah, they set it off. You know, I don't think we need Alistair anymore. I think Morgan can tank fairly well. She's got more health than he does. You know what? I think I'm going to switch out Alistair when we do the Sacred Ashes with Wynn. Get some spirit healing going on. I guess that's it. any more of our people hurt. I ask you this now, outsider. Are you willing to parlay? No. Not with me. I have been sent to you on behalf of the lady. She believes you may not be aware of everything you should be. She means you no harm, provided your willingness to parlay in peace is an honest one. She is not Witherfang, but she can tell you of Witherfang if you ask. But first, you must agree to parlay. Sure, I'll talk to her. Follow me. But I warn you, if you break your promise and harm her, I will come back from the Fade itself to see you pay. <sighs> Yeah, just chill out.
I bid you welcome, mortal. Oh my, that uh, hair is covering just enough important bits. No doubt you have questions, mortal. There are things that Zathrian has not told you. It was Zathrian who created the curse that these creatures suffer. The same curse that Zathrian's own people now suffer. Centuries ago, when the Dalish first came to this land, a tribe of humans lived close to this forest. They sought to drive the Dalish away. Zathrian was a young man then. He had a son and daughter he loved greatly. And while out hunting, the human tribe captured them both. <sighs> the humans tortured the boy killed him. The girl they raped and left for dead. The Dalish found her, but she learned later she was with child. She killed herself. Well, that's awful. Zathrian came to this ruin and summoned a terrible spirit, binding it to the body of a great wolf. So with a fang, came to me. Witherfang hunted the humans of the tribe. Many were killed, but others were cursed by his blood, becoming twisted. So they're the humans that killed them. Twisted and savage, just as Witherfang himself is. They were driven into the forest. When the human tribe finally left for good, their cursed brethren remained. Pitiful and mindless animals. Until I found you, my lady, you gave me peace. I showed Swiftrunner that there was another side to his bestial nature. I soothed his rage and his humanity emerged. And he brought others to me. In part, we seek to end the curse. The crimes committed against Zathrian's children were grave, but they were committed centuries ago by those who were long dead. Word was sent to Zathrian every time the landships passed this way, asking him to come, but he has always ignored us. We will no longer be denied. <sighs> we spread the curse to his people, so he must end the curse to save them. Please, mortal. You must go to him. Bring him here. If he sees these creatures, hears their plight, surely he will agree to end the curse. No. If Zathrian comes, I shall summon Witherfang. I possess that power. I also have the power to ensure Witherfang is never found. Tell Zathrian this. If he does not come, if he does not break the curse, he will never find Witherfang, and he will never cure his people. Tact and diplomacy, not so much a speciality, huh? I get it, childhood thing. Perhaps you should restrict yourself to the usual drooling and blubbering, Alistair, and leave the tactics to the rest of us? Oh, ho, ho. Funny. Yeah, I see you went to Clown Academy at Flemeth's finishing school of the wilds. You wish to find with a fang? Very well, I will summon him. Let us make an end to this wretched existence once and for all. Oh, she's with her fang. All right, time to start the bloodbath. <laughs> They're all clumped up. Okay, before you shift forms, where's that dog? Do my vulnerability. So my fireball will hit a lot harder. Uh. This. Second wind. How about you put on taunt? And Liana. Soul Ra. 
robot bomb. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. Oh, poor Morgan. Uh, I think she's gonna die. Okay, there's Wither. Pushing prison. And then... Swift Runner. Get the Curse of Mortality. Oh, what, what's going on? Are they trying to get more friends? Oh, why are they... Hold on, I'm gonna... Okay, Alistair. Don't mind them. Go beat up with her fang. Get you acid coating. Venom. Heal. Freaking freeze her. Oh, you little B word. She, like, knock me down. <laughs> She's trying to kick them through the door. Hey, Liliana, leave them alone. Okay, can you like there we go let's see if that did the trick oh they're mad oh man they don't even care about Alistair anymore they're pissed. We should be feeling that for several days to come. Oh. Give you an injury kit. You're the only one that went down. I'm kind of surprised. I thought, I thought we would lose at least Alistair and her. Liliana always seems to have a knack for surviving, though. Okay, let's give you a lot more constitution. As you wish. Here we go. Let's get started. Right. I think that you can make this easier if you um kill the wolves in the one room there. And don't parlay. That must be the exit. I think we came from the stairway we were just at. This should be easy enough. Here's if I missed anything. Oh, we did miss stuff. Crushing prison can be pretty OP because you're pretty much sitting there taking constant spirit damage and you can't move. Can't move, can't act, can't do anything. 
And you, you, you topple that up or add it up with uh, Curse of Mortality and you're pretty much toast. Because you can't heal when you're being cursed. Like even health potions won't do anything. Pearl of Bannister. Armasan. Wait, what's she doing here? The only thing I wish she could do is reset her talents. Alright, then this side, and then... Back to Zathrian, I guess. Just four. Oh, he's overwhelming someone. I think she's gonna kill it. So these are the tribe of humans that attack the Dalish, right? Remember that they're saying that. And they deserve this. They should never know peace ever. Take like the last bit of it. We'll sell it. Oh, we've also, we've also got that tree bark to turn in too, don't we? That's it. Force field is really nice to have when you're in a pinch too. Like you just need a few seconds to think and, you know, get a bit of a reprieve. Are we going to use those? Because Morgan just has frost weapons, so. I might put my potions all the way over here. And greater health. Expert, okay, I need expert herbalism. Do we need distillation and just flasks, I guess? Oh, look who it is. Oh, I see here. And here you are already. You have carved a safe path through the forest. Safe enough for me to follow, anyhow. <laughs> he wishes to see if we did his work for him. Is that not why you were here now, sorcerer? Do not call me that, witch. I am keeper of this clan, and have done what I must. Did you acquire the heart? Excellent. I was half afraid that I would find that Witherfang had killed you, and I would have to battle him myself. The curse cannot be broken so easily, nor would I wish it to be. But we now possess the means to cure the ailing hunters. So I know why the curse can't be broken, I'll tell you guys at the end. If you choose the other option to help her, then you find out. The curse has endured for centuries and will continue long after I pass on. I will not break it. What is done is done. Naturally. Shall we return to camp now, then? As soon as we see the heart is taking effect, we can deal with the rest that implies. Excellent. There are those who... 
The essence of the wolf's heart appears to have banished all trace of the cursed blood from the hunters. Let me say it officially. I hereby swear to uphold the terms of the ancient contract our people formed with the Grave Wardens. Sick. 3D2. So basically, um, you can't break the curse because he's alive. So if you were to break the curse, he would die. So, you know, obviously you don't want to kill yourself to, you know, break the curse, but this choice. Make me some armor. We are working hard to make enough equipment for all of I've done that once where I've had him cure it. Our armaments will be superior to anything else you find on the battlefield. Truly, let me see. Yes, that is indeed iron bark and a substantial quantity of it as well. Well done. An agreement is an agreement. And I will craft something from this wood for you. What would you like? A bow or perhaps a breastplate? Manuvin in. I will craft it myself. Watch if you prefer. It will not take long. And I've reformed the wood to my will. A Dalish breastplate for you. May it serve you well. Hope we don't run into too more, too many more NPCs that are have the reflective skin. It's just a mod. I think I don't have the right skin installed properly, um, but I don't want to mess around with it because I'll probably break something else in the process of doing that. This game's a bit older, so it's... I don't want to mess with stuff too much, so let's give you that. Uh, give you level for unlocking. You have returned. Is there any chance you have news of Denala? You have news? Have you found her? Are, are you certain? Dead? What happened to her? Was it as I thought? The Keeper told me the truth? Are you certain? No, of course not. It would be foolish of me to disbelieve both you and the Keeper. At least she is at peace. Here is the amulet, as I promised. Now I should go and make arrangements. I must mourn my wife as is proper. Dareth Shira, fare you well. She's at peace now, but she wasn't when we ran into her. Odds of the craft. Hey, is there any more quests I need to turn in? I'm not sure. Careful. Let's sell to that guy. Uh, yeah, his. Want some junk? We are working hard to make enough equipment for all. I am no merchant, but I have plenty that you may need. You say you're not a merchant. Oh, there we go. Distillation agent. Need that for inventory full. Right. Got a whole bunch of crap. Thorn's armor. Oh, that's pretty good, I think. Art of Witherfang. Oh, you know what? I should give that to Alistair. Right, so distillation. Take those. Q 
Okay, what's this? Fear of blood magic. Grants the reader one or more points to spend on attributes. I don't care about that. On a skill. How much money do I have? Seven gold? I'll take it. And I'll take the backpack. More abilities is always good, I think. Oh, it's this. Okay. All right. Skill and sundry, of course. I don't know if that's worth 12 gold for that, but... It is what it is, I guess. How the heck do I get out of here that way? Oh, that's the forest. Oh, southwest. Right, of course, the path leading out of the camp. That would make perfect sense. There is one thing I Let's do get not started. understand, Alistair. Just the one thing. Go so Bandorn lands. Fisher's Pass. It's hot. We do have to go talk to Flemeth soon. Go back to camp for now. I don't understand. You look like a woman. You are a Grey Warden. So it follows that you can't be a woman. Women are priests, artisans, shopkeepers, or farmers. They don't fight. That's pretty sexist there, Sten. The laborers, soldiers, and Ashkari are men. There is nothing else left. Exactly. One of those things can't be true. A person is born. Gunari or human or elven or... I wonder if Sten has heard of pronouns. The size of his hands, whether he is clever or foolish. The land he comes from, the color of his hair, these are beyond his control. We do not choose, we simply are. Can they? We'll see. What if you're like chosen to be like a tradesman and you really, really suck at talking to people? And you are not personable at all? You know, no charisma whatsoever? Okay, so there's two of them. Got one more left. Um, technically. Yeah, so that's it for the Brazilian ruins and the forest. We've got the Elves Treaty. So what we have left is we have Deep Roads. We have the Sacred Ashes uh, Haven. We have the Lance Meat. Uh, the, and then all the end game stuff in Denerim. And then we've got DLC. So I kind of want to try, we might do all the DLC after, but it might do also do this one for that guy there for the Dryden. Uh, Cause there's some cool blood mage stuff from that. So what we might do is do that before or after at the ashes. Cause I want to do deep roads last before we go to Denerim and start the end. It's only about four hours after the deep roads. With the, for all the dinner room stuff, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, so we may or may not start the DLC in the next video, or we may or may not start the uh, Secret Ashes, which is about two hours, I think. But yeah, hope to see you guys there.